Hello ladies and gentlemen, I'm Fireman Dan and welcome back to another episode of Space Engineers. So the last couple of videos I did, I covered Whip's uh, tutorial or Whip's scripts for his roto turrets. Um, and one of the things I mentioned in there is you cannot print subgrades on projectors. And that's just a limitation of Space Engineers engine. Hopefully they fix that, but for now we gotta do what we gotta do. So what do I mean by that is, let's say you want to build this very nice, pretty rotor turret and use it on your ships or your grid or whatever, and you're in uh, survival mode. In creative, you just copy and paste, no big deal, but in survival, obviously, you got to build everything up, and we have something pre-built, then you got to go using the projectors, and if you want multiple of them, it's just, well, easier to use projectors. But, the problem with that is, if I come in here, click on this, go to blueprints, and go to this, we get this message right here. Multiple grids are not supported, only the largest grid will be used. Well, what does that mean? Well, if you look at this, this is the largest grid of that blueprint. Obviously, because you got this small one right here, and then you got this, this big one up top. Well, this is multiple grids. So only, you can't print multiple subgrids. So all, the only thing these projectors coming up with is, well, the gun, the gun portion itself. So, what do you gotta do? Well, first off, what is a subgrid? A subgrid is anything built on top of a rotor, a piston, or the new, uh, hinges. The new hinge blocks. So anything above this, the piston head, is considered a subgrid. So all from from here to here is one subgrid. Then you got the rotor, and then from here all the way around to here is considered a second subgrid. And this, as you can actually see the subgrid right here. But nothing else, because once again, space engineers you cannot print subgrids with a projector. So how do you get around that? Well, you get around that by cheating a little bit. And you, what I mean that by that is you use multiple projectors. So what I got here, I put, put the rotor down, right? And I stuck a projector on top of that. And then I had already pre-built the first part, which is right there. And that's this right here. There's a projector and you had the first half of the rotor. And I made it a blueprint. And I put that blueprint into this projector. And there you have it. And you could do this, well, as many times as you want. You want 20 rotor turrets for whatever reason? You just do this 20 times. There you go. And then you just built this up. And once you come in and weld this, you end up with this right here. And then, for your second half, you just repeat the process. And this is very, very crude, so excuse me for that, but time constraints. So I, I just repeated the process. I put a second projector on, and I put three Gatling guns on it. Right? I pre-built it, made it a blueprint, which is that right there, and I put it inside the projector. And that's all you have. That's all you got to do. And you can, be, you can print it as many, as many times as you want. And as long as this projector or this projector survives any kind of damage, all you gotta do is turn the projector on and repair it. There's another trick to this, and that's basically a factory. <laughs> so this same thing, I took I took first stage, right here. I copied and pasted it multiple times down this grid right here, as you can see. So now, how many is on here? There's one, two, three. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So now, by building one block, I just essentially built 14 turrets. Now what I would do is I would, I would grab this with a ship, which I'll show you over here, grind this first block off, and then move it into position. What do I mean by that? Well, let's come over to this little uh, anti-aircraft tank. This top up here, essentially a rotor turret. That's that thing over the far end. Why is it a rotor turret? 
you got your first part on the azimuth and then you got both elevation turrets up and down it's fancy but I mean it's the rotor turret so what do I do with this what if I want to build this in survival mode I actually did do that I did build this in survival mode if you guys go back and watch our let's play series with Storm in it and Evander when we're down on the new Triton world I built one of these uh, we didn't use it that much in a series but it's there well how did I do that well I did it like this exactly what I told you over there right I built the tank and then if you go into there's a feature if you come into your turret and in, into your rotors you got this add rotor head or detach what I did was I just simply detached the rotor head right and I moved it into position as you see right here with merge blocks so now every time I want to use this I'll show you what I do I come in here I just grab this ship right line this up here now hook on to it right grab a grinder just take this off now we'll get come back into the ship and this this little current fighter is just basically acting as a uh, crane if you will he does it. That was my stupid fault. Uh, let's get this in place here. Alright. That looks close enough. So then I just come back in here. Come on to my. Let's just go out in third person. Oh, I can't go in a third person. Oh, there we go. The ship was in a way. Come back in my azimuth and hit attach. Boom. Back up. Let go. And there you have it. My stage one of my rotor turret is attached. And then I will just repeat the process with both arms. And this has several advantages. Number one is obviously I can take this custom built rotor turret into survival, build it very, very easily, very, very quickly, and just assemble it like Legos. Number option two is if this ever takes damage, let's say this arm gets half damaged or destroyed, all I gotta do is come in here into the ship or into the, into the tank, detach this arm from this rotor grind it down, turn on my projector, and re right? And when I turn on my projector, this will appear, this will appear, right? And the one in the back will appear. But I don't need this one, and I don't need the one on the back. I just need this arm. All I gotta do is weld this arm up and repeat the process, and just reattach it to this rotor head. So it's easy to repair, easy to build, quick to build, compared to building these by hand. And if you were doing these rotor turrets, Obviously, you're probably going to want more of them. So by doing something like that, in other words, this right here, a little, uh, a, like, assembly line, you can build a lot of rotor turrets very, very quickly. And not only can you build a lot of them very, very quickly and just paste them together like Legos, you can, um, it can be very easy to repair them because if one of them takes damage, let's say, let's say this loses, I don't know, three, all three turrets. All you gotta do is detach this rotor head, take, right, and this whole thing falls away. Come over here, grab one of your pre-built, and just put it in place. And that's all you gotta do. So, um, this very, so, let's see, recap. You cannot print subgrids on a projector. You can build either, each one of these by hand, but that will take a very, very long time. And Unless you have that design memorized, you're going to be running back and forth to look at it and it may not be identical. But by using projectors on each subgrid, so this is one subgrid, that is two subgrids, it allows you to make multiple of the same thing. And 
by making a large blueprint, you can very quickly uh, make your rotor turrets and just paste them together like Legos. So that's it, folks. Uh, this is Fireman Dan. If you uh, enjoyed this video, if it was helpful, hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel if you have not done so. I would really appreciate it. Help me grow the channel up. And share it with your friends. Fireman Dan, I will see you guys next time.